One of the most undertaught skills in soccer is slide tackling. When we went out and did our research, we found out that 90% of maturing players had never had a class on proper slide tackling. This is a great way for players to get injured if they're not trained the right way. Slide tackling must be taught, there is a progression, and it helps players do it safely and the correct way. A slide tackle is very safe if the player is trained. Very, very safe. Very seldom do players get hurt on slide tackles. They get hurt because they don't do them right. They end up taking out a player and breaking a knee or busting out a knee or breaking an arm because they're not trained in it. So we want to train players. The first thing we want to do, and especially with kids, if you're going to do this repetitively, they make slider pants. I have a hard time finding them because they're just, no one teaches it so they don't really make them. You can wear blue jeans. Um, I prefer, this is just a pair of like rain pants, uh, outer pants. It's very slippery, has elastic and no zippers at the bottom and elastic. And what I do is I buy it to fit me and then I know that once it fits me it'll fit everyone else because a little kid can put this on and have it up around his waist and he'll be protected from repetitive sliding. So I don't know, most of the time you have to take your cleats off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have Morgan, why don't you go ahead and slide, sit down and just slide those on for me for a sec. Okay so Morgan's got the pants on and I bought them for the fat coach so I know they're going to fit skinny Morgan. And the same thing, when I use them, I use the same pants, same size pants for 10 year olds because I know that they're going to fit them. They just sit down, they just throw them on, they're great. Now you can if you want, sometimes you can tuck them inside your socks, but most of the time this works great. I've found that trying to find slider pants is almost impossible. So go ahead and just use a pair of outdoor training pants or just have the players pull their socks up high. Now let's go back out to the field. So three basic forms. All we want to learn is we want to learn three things in slide tackling. One is going to be the inside of the foot or the lace. One is going to be outside of the foot and the other is going to be a recovery or trap. So how we're going to do this, when we come in and we slide, the first slide tackle we come in and we slide with our leg under us and the inside of our foot or our lace comes in to touch the ball. That's slide tackle number one. Slide tackle number two is when we come in, our leg is actually behind us. We come in and we catch it with the outside of our foot this way. Slide tackle number three is when we come in, we slide tackle, but instead of kicking the ball away, we simply, as we're sliding, put our foot around the ball and stand back up. So it's a recovery slide tackle. So we're going to take this slow, but here's the problem. Whenever you start slide tackle slow, people end up just sort of just falling on the ground. It's hard to do a slide tackle slow. So the first thing I want to do is I want you to come back over here. And just gently let your body just sort of collapse and slide to the ground. Go ahead. Very good. Very good. Now what I want you to do is go back up. And let's see if you can do it the opposite way with your leg back. Be very gentle with it. Try it. Good. I'm going to have you go in. I'm going to have you run in and you're going to kick that ball and you're going to kick that ball out of the space as you slide with the inside of the foot slide tackle. Go ahead. Good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to come over here and I want you to come in and as you come in, you're going to come in, you're going to slide from an angle. This leg will be on top but back and just kick the ball out with the outside of your foot. And go ahead. Now we're going to come in and as you slide, you're going to try and wrap your foot around the back of the ball and then come back up. Go ahead. 
Now, you don't have to sort of go in. You're almost like you're trying that you're trying to touch the ball. I just want your foot just to gently just sort of come behind the ball and then stand up. So let's try that one more time. You don't have to actually bring that foot up and touch the ball. Just let your foot sort of go around. Go ahead. Good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to touch the ball. You keep the ball. You're going to roll the ball slowly, roll the ball away from you, and as that ball, then you're going to go and trap the ball. Do it again. This is where we learn that slide tackling is not only to kick a ball away from us or the opponent, but also used to recover a ball and gain possession. Now, as I dribble across, you stand over here. As I dribble down, you just slide tackle and just kick the ball away from me. Are you ready? And go ahead. Very good. When we're doing this, when we start teaching a slide tackle, we don't want to let the players do this. We want a coach to actually come in and do this. So if there is a bad challenge, that way the coach gets hurt, not the player. But once they start doing this, it's very safe. The problem, the unsafe part, is when you don't teach this and they don't know how to do this. A key fundamental point in slide tackling is your eye is only on one place, and that is the ball. You never watch the player. You always watch the ball and you will always contact the ball. Ready? Here's a simple correction point that you may have to use with younger players. Come in from a very, very low angle, very, very low angle and slide. Don't start up here, jump and collide. Come in low and skim, skim. You know how you throw a rock across the water? If you throw it down at the water, what happens? It sinks. If you skim it, now come in and skim across. Get real low and skim, okay? Much better, good. Now let's go out to a grid, and here's a good exercise to have repetitive slide tackles in a safe practice zone. I like to put a bunch of balls in here, and you can actually have 30 or 40 balls inside the square, big square. I like to put two players in, one player to start, then put two so that they understand that there's other people that they've got to watch out for. So step out. I want you to run around the square, and I just want you to slide tackle the balls out. So start out so you get some speed. Remember, slide tackling the wrong way is how we get hurt and get fouled. Also, hesitation in slide tackling and not having the confidence will cost us goals. If taught properly, slide tackling is very safe and very easy to learn.